communities as a path to global peace. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 323. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is G. Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 323, June 2nd, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability and global peace. And that's what I want to talk about today. Let's talk about communities as a path to global peace. So our perspective is that when people have enough of what they need to survive and be happy, that they want to give to others, that they want to help others. And research has shown this out, that we are an empathic society. And if you Google that, empathic society, you can find research on this topic. We want to leverage that to create a world that is peaceful, loving, and supports the needs of every single person on this planet. And our pathway to creating that is what you see happening in the background of this video right here. It's open sourcing and free sharing the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to create and replicate all aspects of sustainable living and to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that completely support the needs of everybody within them, everybody living there, and that are designed so that the more they share what it is that they're doing, the more successful that they can be. They're designed to self-replicate by demonstrating sustainable living as easy enough, affordable enough, and community living, and attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. Putting all these things together in one place so that people, when they come and live in a place like this, they say, wow, this is amazing. I want to live this way. And then we provide the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints and instructions to replicate that. The labor statistics, how much it's going to cost, exactly what you need to do to work with local governments, all these details, where to get your materials, all of that, so that people can enter it with their eyes open their eyes wide open, and all the details and information that they need to replicate what we're doing. And so the teacher demonstration hubs, the villages that you see happening here in the background, are just the beginning. They're designed to be modified, adapted, expanded, to meet the needs of whoever is living there. And they're designed to teach other people how to, to build these as well. And so this, as communities of the path to global peace, the idea is to build communities working together as a global cooperative and global collaborative to take the resources to the places where they're needed the most, to teach efficient and sustainable use and management of resources, and to spread the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, meeting people's needs so that if people have diverse viewpoints and ideological viewpoints that they feel separate them from everybody else, let's create a space for those people to come together and to live in harmony with others that share those views, whatever that may be. Or, if you're one community, Let's create a place that celebrates those values and says, hey, if you can live by the golden rule, do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. And then you can have your diverse viewpoints and we can live in coexistence. We can cooperate and collaborate on the things that we agree on and we can create a highest good society. And it doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter what your ethnic background is or what your perspectives on politics are or any of those things. If we can say, hey, we choose to focus on these things and live in cooperation and collaboration and work and focus on those goals without impressing our views upon other people, and one community is doing this as an organization. Our highest good philosophy includes non-ideological approaches to everything that we're doing. Our idea is to say, hey, this is how we're doing it. If you agree, join us. If you don't agree and you want to do it differently, great. It's open source and free share. And we believe that if we can spread this mentality, if we can share this mentality, then communities as a path to global peace can become a reality. We can create, create a global cooperative and collaborative of communities of different nationalities, of different religions, of different, of different uh, value systems still working together for the highest good of all life on this planet because we don't have to agree on those things to create this. We don't have to agree on religion to create a world that works for everybody. We don't have to agree on politics to create a world that works for everybody. This is what one community is creating. And so communities as a path to global peace is really about providing spaces that completely and totally meet the needs of everybody living there so that they don't have to attack other cultures or try and take from other, uh, anywhere else so that they're not living in lack, so they're living in abundance. 
and so much so that they can give to their surrounding communities and spread this mindset and this idea to others as well and teaching others how to live this way also. Expanding the global network. And if you run the numbers on this idea, if a community of 50 people, and one community is meant to grow to a couple thousand, but if a community of 50 people starts, one community starts, and in the first year, we can motivate and inspire two additional communities to follow in our footsteps. Not necessarily creating what we're creating, but creating something using what it is that we're creating, or just inspired to create something for the highest good of all life, a community. If we can inspire two more the next year, and then the year after that, four, and if those four, with all the ones that preceded them, could inspire eight more the year after that, and then 16 and 32, and 64, and so on and so forth, we could touch the lives of every single person on this planet within 30 years. Now that self-replicating model may or may not be possible, but we don't need every single person to create global peace. We only need a percentage of people really thinking for the highest good of all, thinking for the highest good of all life on this planet, saying we are dedicated to peace, we are dedicated to happiness, and we are creating and we are open sourcing and we are free sharing because we want to help every single other person that's interested in that. And we believe that there's a large enough percentage of this population that's that's invested and interested in that idea that we can create a peaceful world within our lifetime. We can take all the people that say we don't want to play this, this war game anymore. We want to live and coexist peacefully and cooperatively and collaboratively. And when we can create a way for us to do that and we can invite everybody to participate, and for those that don't want to participate, they don't have to. But enough of us will be participating so that those that would want to destroy that or take that away, and I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but we can create a movement that says, hey, this is the new culture of our planet and it doesn't have a place for that other war culture anymore. Like there's a way that we can all be happy. We can all support each other. We can all cooperate and collaborate that want to. And for those that don't want to participate, that's okay. You can still do your own thing, but this is the world that we are living in now. And so as radical as that idea sounds, a self-replicating model demonstrates it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so it becomes self-replicating so that people want to replicate this all over the world and working in cooperation and collaboration with the highest good of all life on this planet. That's possible. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're open sourcing and free sharing. And we are making it easy enough, affordable enough, and we will demonstrate as attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. And that's how we see communities as a path to global peace, starting with one community and expanding to all communities, global communities, touching all communities in the world, and building specific teacher demonstration communities to help teach more and more people how to live and create and share and cooperate and collaborate in this way for the benefit of everybody. So that's what we're up to. And with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal and so much more. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team started research on sustainable insulation options. Denim bats, sheep's wool bats, and aircrete were the most sustainable we found. More detailed research is coming. The core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, also made more additions to the work breakdown structure for the Earthbank Village and finished the work breakdown structure for the duplical city center and energy components. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, finished week 161 working on the Earthbank Village. This week, he started designing the main entryway, corners, and south wall. Shandi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 53rd week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi created the new procurement list design shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued with week 11 of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the duplical city center sprinkler and emergency systems designs. This week's focus was more work on the contour dam designs and starting the ridge point dam designs, some of which you can see here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, added the duplical city center sprinkler system pipe details and the fitting specifications and quantities, prices, and images and source URLs to the duplical city center cost spreadsheet. 
James Harrigal, student researcher, completed his 20th and final week researching sustainable materials for the Most Sustainable Adhesives page. This week's focus was researching and adding specific products to the Bostick products section, as shown here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 23rd week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was outdoor flooring and railing colors and options and sunrise and cupola patio furniture. Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his second week helping finalize the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week's focus was updating the library furniture in AutoCAD and adding the dirt catching grills in SketchUp and AutoCAD. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with week four working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he worked on the building occupancy schedules, input the lighting loads, and calculated the estimated hot water usage based on the American Society of Plumbing Engineers. And Zeyu Zhu, mechanical engineer, also completed his third week increasing the capacity and finalizing the rainwater catchment designs for the city center. This week, he ran calculations and cost analysis for the downspouts comparing rectangular and round designs in three and four inch sizes. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued developing the mind map of the permaculture process. We'll be sharing this as part of the open source permaculture design page. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include Comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the redesign of the Ultimate Classroom. This week, we designed the reading room and removable partition walls, redesigned the separation wall, and set storage location for the movable walls. We also resized the bathrooms, moved bathroom doors, and placed items in the computer classroom. The one community approach to highest good society here. is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team rebuilt our one community pledge page to include overviews and better explanations of all of our values. You can see some of these updates here. Brian Gilb, project management professional, also continued with his seventh week of updating our business plan and project management strategy. This week's focus was initial outlining of our target volunteer market for the marketing plan and starting the project charter for the Highest Good Network software. Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, created a video and written tutorial for how to run specific Google Grants reports and solve problems with Google Ads. Then Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 31st week as part of the marketing team by applying Jin's tutorial and updating several AdWords campaigns that Google had flagged and paused. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of communities as a path to global peace. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, read a lot more about what one community is doing, 
visit our blog, visit our website. There's so much information there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our email list and our newsletter list. Uh, well, they're one and the same. Our email email and newsletter list. And uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Uh, we got a helping page. There's lots of different ways for anybody to help out. Also, if you like the easiest way to help out, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring that bell so you get our regular updates. Uh, and uh, join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, share our information. We are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Join us wherever works best for you. If you want to help out, share information. Go to our page. Like all the different things that we posted. Every little bit makes a difference. That's super easy. We really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you'd like to donate, that helps out as well. We're 100% unpaid, all-volunteer team. We're a nonprofit, non-governmental organization, so we function on uh, donations, and none of us are paid for what's, what it is that we're doing. So 100% of your donations go towards our website infrastructure and open source goals, and open sourcing and free sharing, everything that we're doing. So if you're somebody that has donated or wants to donate, thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Every dollar makes a difference. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching to the end. Until next week, we will. Of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.